What is going on guys? It is your boy Crypto McCall here coming today with a flux node update guys. So today we are going over the eighth month that we've been running our Nimbus node on the flux network. So we are going to go over the last month's earnings as well as the, the monthly uh, flux report that we go over as well as we have some new updates from uh with project thunder which is a fractional or fractious uh node and allows you to uh, basically upgrade your already cumulus node that you may or may not be running right now so we'll go over that in a second but first let's dig in further into our flux node earnings so we are running a nimbus node and as you know that takes right now 12,500 flux in order to run that and our current monthly total um, since last month is right now sitting at 13,381 flux so we are eight months into this so from last month which we had earned 13,287 uh we gained uh 93.75 flux just the just the flux itself not on top of the 65 parallel asset uh flux tokens that we did earn over the last month which puts us around a 616 um total mined parallel assets right of course now you divide that by the amount of parallel assets that there are so you know right now you have what seven at the current time being now we did have our snapshot so we had a dual parallel snapshot which was on october 31st which was halloween but that has happened any flux that you were holding up until that date uh, was snapshotted and now we have two new parallel assets that we will be adding into this um they'll be they'll do them one at a time like they usually do uh, so we'll add another one in a little week or two and then the second one will be added a few more weeks after that and then we still have the adam cosmos drop that we have uh, that was pushed back due to some coding so that is going to be coming out here soon so we will be earning more parallel assets coming out um, but as of right now that is where we sit now as you can see our possible claimed has gone down quite a bit from last month of course because we claimed in order to let these specific uh, earnings from your possible claims be eligible for the snapshot they had to have been claimed if they were just sitting unclaimed they were not eligible so we had to pull them luckily a lot of the the fusion fee for ethereum was actually really low and we went and did that so we lucked out there but nonetheless the rest of these are actually pretty cheap unlike uh, the ethereum one now you didn't have to hold these in native flux you could have held them in their own native parallel assets but i normally swap all of mine over into main flux just that way you have a larger percentage um, if you have a smaller amount that gets snapshotted uh, you will maybe not get enough to cover the fusion fees um, so it might actually not be beneficial to do that so it could cost you less just to go ahead and swap them back over to main net flux when you do that in the like the event of a snapshot that is right so that is the current standings for the month though for the eighth month running the nimbus node interested to see what the next two parallel assets that are coming uh, put your guesses down below and uh what do you think the next two parallel asset drops will be I'd be curious to know flux bench thunder so as you guys know right here so cumulus nodes currently only require a thousand flux in order to run a cumulus node. Now you have the option to upgrade 
your Cumulus node to a Project Thunder node as well, um, which would gives you the hardware requirement of 9,200 gigabytes. All right, so you have to upgrade your storage by quite a bit, um, almost by, I think it's like eight or so terabytes, I think, in like total that you have to upgrade from. And you have to have a 80 megabytes of read and write speeds. Now we do not know what the like earnings will be if your Cumulus node is running a um, a fractious <clears throat> like upgrade. So I will have all of this down below and you can kind of go over it uh, more in depth. I am not currently running a Cumulus node, so I won't be doing this, but uh, maybe we'll be real, like launching one here soon. I'm not really sure. The old uh, coin mine ones actually make a pretty good housing for like a Cumulus node, so I might actually turn my old coin mine one into one of those. So we shall see, and maybe we'll upgrade it to the furious uh project thunder upgrade so we'll see but here is the requirements um that is set for the cumulus fractious beta requirements now this is in beta testing as it, as we speak and is has been deployed in testnet so you need a thousand flux which you already need for a cumulus node two cores four threads eight gigabytes of ram the 240 EPS, which is um, CPU events per second, which all of this is the same as it was, as well as the um, the download and write speeds, or the upload speeds. Now, what has changed is the megabyte write speeds and the storage. So a 10 terabyte hard drive uh, would be the better way to go. All right, RAID is allowed. So Thunder support, if you would like to run your node as and be benchmarked as Thunder, uh, you need, of course, have all of these requirements and go into your flux bench.config and change that variable to th from Thunder to zero to one. Now, once you've defined it as one, it will re it'll do a full system reboot and it will, uh, bench as a project thunder cumulus node all right so be curious to know if y'all are going to run this um i'm currently not at the moment but possible that i will in the future um are you running this put, put your comment down below we'd love to know of course the link for this will be in the description now of course guys the flux weekly report now, this is a weekly report, but we cover this one because this one goes over the week when our Flux node hits its monthly quotas. So, of this November 13th through the 20th, this is the current overview of Flux. So, the standing is 15,538 Flux nodes are in the current standing. Of, uh, of course, there are three different tiers of Flux nodes. So... Between those three, there are 15,538. There is 6,490 6, terabytes of hard drive space, uh, 107,840 V cores of processing power, as well as 299.4 terabytes of RAM uh, to back that all up. Now, the current updates. There was a Flux OS version release. Of course, this was because of the Project Thunder that was released on that said version and went into testnet. So the upcoming version will probably be um, set as mainnet. All right. Now, trading Flux has went live on YRX and Flux also did go live on Indox. Now, Indox did just release the uh, ERC-20 version of Flux. I'm not sure about YRX, um, but uh, they're probably going to be doing the same thing, if not mainnet Flux. ERC-20 and 
B uh, was a BEP20 are the most common used flux tokens on the network I have seen. Uh, Meowcoin has now become a partner of Flux, and of course, like we just talked about, Cumulus, Fractus, Project Thunder has been deployed on Testnet. The requirements, you know. So, last tweet, as of November 19th, from Run on Flux, was, We are pleased to share the Cumulus, Fractus, Project Thunder has been deployed on Testnet. Of course, the new Flux bench and requirements for the Fractus beta node are down in the description below which is what they just linked right here so welcome to the thunder the thunder dome right so interested in testing you can go into the testnet channels and give it a go yourself or you can wait for it to go live if you would uh, just like to wait all right so guys that is the overview of the last month from running our, cumul our, uh, our Nimbus node as well as going over the Cumulus node updates to uh, a Project Thunder type Cumulus node. Awesome to see that. Now of course they are most likely probably upgrading the Cumulus nodes because they are the most deployed nodes out there and it would make sense because they do have the Flux Drive program going on now where it is essentially a Dropbox, but it is built on Flux and utilizes the Flux's uh, extra storage power. So upgrading the most commonly used tiered nodes to something like this would help bolster uh, something like that. So good move on their part in my personal opinion and would love to see what more is going to come of that in the future. So guys, don't forget Smash the like button, subscribe button, that bell notifications. You know, every time that we go live here on the channel, we would greatly appreciate it. Now, also be sure to go ahead and put down in the comment section if you are going to be running a uh, Project Thunder upgraded Cumulus node, as well as what do you think your uh, guesses would be for the next two snapshots uh, or tokens from the, from the snapshot? Would love to know. See y'all next time, guys. Much love. Peace out. Stay fluxtastic, and we'll see y'all next time, guys.